So we have Perry Tam here from Storm 8, and he just finished his conference at NY Games 2012. Tell us a little bit about the panel and what you guys discussed today. Sure. Uh, the, title of the, the title of the talk is called um, The Secret to Longevity. How do you build a gaming company for the long haul? So we basically talk about how Stormy has created itself and also uh, have done all this in the past three years with no external funding, all self-funded bootstrap company, and also have amassed uh, more than 300 million downloads uh, in the past three years. That's really impressive. So what were some of the points that you discussed today that, that helped you guys get on that path? Sure. I think the uh, first and foremost is how do you be a sustainable company? So we talk about how a company can 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 just stay profitable and keep growing. Um, so some of the uh, the key points that I deliver to to the audience is that you don't want to be a one hit wonder. You want to uh, constantly innovating and just uh, be the first to market. Yeah. And so what do you think are some big mistakes that young companies make that that you've seen or maybe that you really had to fight hard to avoid? when you were uh, developing Storm 8? Sure, so I think the oftentimes what I saw uh, companies, uh, young companies trying is they try to like uh, get the perfect product uh, be, uh, until they get the perfect product they're not going to launch it. Uh, uh, we are more on the mentality of let's get the iteration goal. You know, let's get a little bit users, test out some of the concept here, and then uh, keep improving on that. Uh, we basically start the company building one game, wasn't all that successful at the beginning, but we just kept working on it, improving it on top of, you know, with a second game, and then make sure that all the features that were added to the second game can back forward and lie up in the first game easily, and then the third game, at time, the third game again, do the same, add more feature, make sure we can turn it on for the first two games and keep iterating that way and then eventually we get a really, really good game that is like half the best in the industry and then finally win over our users. So not be afraid to get your first product out there and, and get some user feedback and some community interaction and stuff. Yeah, like I said, you know, don't, don't try to be the one hit one. Right? So you want to come in with the mentality that I'm going to make a lot of games. Yep. So, you know, this one game is many, many games that we're going to make and we're going to make uh, either a really great success or we're going to learn something from it, which our next game is going to be better. Yep. Cool. So what can we look forward to from Storm 8 coming up here in the near future or the next year? Sure. So uh, we've been growing uh, consistently and very rapidly. We uh, right now at more than 150 people. Mm -hmm. um, we grew from zero people to 150 in the short three years. Uh, we just quadrupled our headcount last year, and we're in the position to double it this year. So definitely expect a better game, more games from Storm A. Uh, we keep pushing the production value of our uh, of our social games, and um, and just. You know, try to try to be the try to be the best uh, social gaming company out there. Cool, sounds great. All right, well, thanks for coming by for the interview, and I hope you have a good rest of the conference. Thank you. All right, thanks a lot. Thank you very much. Bye.